Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with IRS. I worked at IRS over a decade. I have worked about 10,000 cases and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTubes are short, they're sweet. I get to, I get to the point and I don't beat around the bush. Um, I'm kind of very unique for YouTubers because a lot of people who do these are people who've been in practice and they share kind of examples of some of the cases that they've worked. For me, I'm kind of opening the curtain back or the zipper back and letting you see how IRS works cases. I'm giving you advice from a former IRS agent and generally there's not that many of us out there that's doing that. By the way, you and me and my uh, m, m man welcome you today. My YouTubes are about three or four minutes, so let's get to the point today of what I'm talking about. Today, I want to talk about the LT11 number notice letter. People get freaked out when they get this L, LT11 notice, final notice, uh, right to collection due process. It's the same as the 1058 letter. There's two letters synonymous with um, IRS going on to levy. Let me just tell you about the billing process. You send a bill in the, uh, a return in the IRS. IRS sends you a series of uh, uh, five notices. It can be CP2000, CP501, CP503, CP504. That's a notice of intent to levy. It's getting serious. And then after that, they're going to send you the, the final, final notice. That final notice is either the 1058 or the LT11. At this point in time, it's getting serious. After 30 days, after 30 days of receiving that letter, IRS at some point in time is going to go ahead and take your bank account or IRS is going to go ahead and take your wages. It's just that simple. That's what they're going to go ahead and do. Um, IRS has gone through their dunning cycle, their billing cycle, and now they're saying if you don't contact us and settle your case, don't do that, then we're going to take enforcement action and make you do it. Yeah, you'll go ahead and write a check, insufficient funds, you'll go to work, employer says, hey, I got a levy, IRS says, I got to give them money. So what you have to do is when you get this letter, you have 30 days to make a determination. It's getting serious with this L LT11 number uh, notice. So you have to understand the strategy that's being used by IRS. IRS is going to say, we want to make a determination on your your debt that you have. And there's three ways we're going to close your case, either by currently non-collectible, by a payment agreement, or maybe through an offer and compromise. So you must understand the three ways that IRS does it. They're going to take a financial statement on you. Most cases are in the service center. They're going to want a 433F, okay? With that form, IRS is going to put you in that category. You're going to have to give them your bank statements, your pay stubs, a copy of your expenses, and a copy of your bills. What's big, the big aha moment for you is IRS has what's called a national standard list of expenses. You say, well, what's that? Why is that so important? Because IRS is going to tell you how much you have to live on. That's right. Uh, the Department of Labor, uh, the IRS, the Department of Justice have all gotten together and said, if you owe us money to the court or to the IRS, that this is amount of money you are going to live on. If not, we want the rest. So if you fill out your financial statement, and you say you make $6,000 a month, and IRS says you can only live on $4,000 a month, you're giving IRS $2,000 a month. So the key the key to get successfully represented or do this yourself, I know many of you YouTube are do that, is you're going to have to fill out that form and know the IRS national standards before you make that call. If you make that call and you don't know what the national standards, you are going to get screwed. Now, I will tell you, if you're broke, there's nothing wrong. Pick up the phone, call IRS, get ready to sub your pay stubs and bank statements. If you so you know owe any sizable money, you better have somebody review that financial statement, maybe make some changes on it, and then go ahead and call IRS. But remember, you have 30 days to go ahead and do that after the LT11 notice. Um, I, it's really important for me when you hear this is to subscribe to my channel. IRS really pretty, I mean, YouTube really values 
uh, subscriptions. It lets them know I'm doing good or likes. Subscriptions are really the best. So if I've created any value to you, you've learned from me, uh, I really appreciate that subscription. By the way, leave a comment. You want me to make a YouTube on something? Go ahead and do that. I'll do that too. Thank you very much. Remember, subscriptions and the Eminem man and you rock. Thank you.